My wife has been acting differently, but I can't tell if I'm just paranoid. I, 31M, have been with my wife, 30F, for 10 years. We have been married for 3 years. We met in college and were each other's first true romantic partner. I had dated in high school but nothing ever got that far, although a high school girlfriend did cheat on me right before I thought we'd take that step. My wife was raised in pretty strict family, so she hadn't done much of any exploring until college. She drank for the first time, tried pot for the first time, and with me had sex for the first time. Because of how little exploring she did beforehand, my wife kind of gives in to peer pressure pretty easily. Her friends from college were partiers, but the friends we have made after certainly aren't, this might be relevant. After we were dating for a while, she would see her college friends hooking up with multiple partners and she would sometimes tell me that she wished she had met me a few years later so she could have the fun they were having. She'd follow that up by reassuring me she would never risk what we have though. It's worth noting that it has been several years since she's voiced this feeling of regret. Finally, while I think she is beautiful, she never really cared much for fashion, getting dressed up, or working out. My wife and I both work jobs that have crazy hours and, for her, sometimes require traveling. About a year ago things started to change after she got back from a trip. I didn't realize it then because it was just little things, but now that I am thinking about it and turning all these things in my head, that trip keeps standing out. After she got back from the trip, my wife started taking her phone with her everywhere. She wouldn't leave a room without it, ever. Around this time, she started going on walks once she got home from or got done with work. We live in a big city metropolitan area, so this didn't seem too out of the ordinary. I have different work hours than she does, so I can never join her for these walks. About eight months ago, she started going to the gym about three times per week. This was out of the ordinary for her, since she was never big on going to the gym. Around then, she started buying tight-fitting workout outfits. I was a big fan of it at first. Who doesn't want to see their wife in that kind of outfit? But because of our conflicting work schedules, I wasn't really seeing her in the outfits anyways. Around that time, she started taking pictures of herself in the mirror in her outfits. When I playfully asked her if she was taking pictures for me, she said they were so she could store on her phone what she looked like in which outfits. It was to help her pick her clothes quickly for work, for our date nights or for the gym. It was around then that I started getting a little nervous. Side note, there have been times in the past when my wife would ask me to unlock her computer or her phone to read something to her while she has her hands full. When she asked me to do so a few months ago though, the password on her computer was different. She gave me the new one so I could unlock it, but it was still added to my list of concerns. About three months ago we went to a housewarming party for some friends we had made after college. While they're not big on partying, we still ended up drinking quite a bit and started playing the game, Never Have I Ever. My wife and I know this game very well, so I don't think she would misunderstand the rules or not know when to drink. With that being said, she was very drunk at this point and when she gets drunk her inhibitions and any remnants of her conservative upbringing go out the window. During the game, one of our friends said never had she ever had a guy finish on her face. A couple friends took a swig, but it certainly wasn't enough for anyone who didn't drink to stand out. Nevertheless, my wife took a swig. Later, another friend said never had they ever had anal sex. Once again, my wife took a swig. She has always been pretty vanilla in the bedroom, so neither of these were things she had ever let me do. I tried to rationalize it as her being drunk, or maybe she just wanted another sip right when those prompts came but it just felt too off for me to put aside. A few days afterwards, I asked her about it and she said she didn't even remember, but she must have made a mistake if she did drink at those times. Finally, a few days after she went for her annual checkup, she got a letter in the mail from her doctor. I happened to be standing next to her when she opened it, and I thought I saw something about a STD or STI test, but I couldn't be sure. I am not sure if women always get those during their checkups. I haven't had them and since I have only been with my wife, I haven't felt like I needed one. Later, I noticed that she ripped up the letter and put it in the trash before taking the trash out. She sometimes does this to sensitive documents, but it still seemed concerning to me at the time. Sorry for the long post. I just wanted to get this off my chest and to see what other people thought. Should I be worried? Mini update. To summarize my previous post, my wife has started acting differently since she came back from a work trip last July. Since then, she is almost never okay with leaving her phone, she cares more about her looks and goes to the gym about three times a week, when we met and got married, she never cared about her looks or the gym, and she goes for long walks by herself after work. These things on their own wouldn't make me suspicious, but together I think they show a pattern of her acting differently. What really made me worried was that when we played the game, Never Have I Ever, with some friends, she drank for things that we've never done in the bedroom. 
Then, I thought I saw her open a letter with STD or STI test results after her annual checkup. For some updates since my previous post, I found a way to raise the test results question to her without it seeming like I am suspicious. I asked if she ever needed to get one as part of her checkup and she said she has never had to get the test before since we both lost our virginities to each other, why would she need to? I am not 100% certain of what I saw when she opened the letter, so she could be telling the truth. As another matter, she is leaving for another work trip on Monday and she seems pretty excited for this one. She has gone on a few trips since the one last July, and each one makes me more nervous. What stood out about this one is that as she is packing for it, and while I was doing our laundry, I noticed that she has several brand new pairs of thong underwear. She has almost never worn thongs before. She typically wears cotton panties that look like bikini bottoms. But these thongs were really skimpy and one of them was like just a string in the back. Don't get me wrong, just like the hot workout clothes, I would love to see her in this stuff. It just doesn't feel like what she would normally wear and I can't understand why she would wear it now. I asked her about the new underwear today and she just brushed it off like she needed some new pairs. Still, given all the other things I mentioned, it just feels weird. Update 2. Recently, right before another work trip, she bought very sexy thongs that aren't what she normally would wear. On the advice of several commenters from the last post, I hired a PI to look into her work trip. While she was away, I also went and got myself tested and arranged to take some time off from work when she came back, in case the PI found anything out and I needed to make some major life choices. I am relieved to say that nothing incriminating came up on her work trip. I know that doesn't mean something didn't happen on other trips, but it does mean that there is nothing definitive from this trip she was so excited about. Regarding my tests, I didn't test positive for anything. Also, the results weren't delivered in a letter. So to those of you who said the letter I thought I saw might not have been test results, you could be right after all. This week, once she returned from her trip, I checked out her routines going to the gym and going for long walks after work. I felt gross using my time off from work to sneak around, but without evidence from the trip, I wanted to check on things myself. I found nothing. She worked out alone at the gym and just listened to music and briefly sat in the park during her walk. Her change in behavior still feels weird to me, but I don't have any concrete evidence to confront her with, and I still want to try to give her the benefit of the doubt. When I recently asked her again about some of her behavior, she said that her turning 30 made her want to focus more on staying fit and beautiful, hence her going to the gym a lot and caring about her looks more. She didn't have much to say about being glued to her phone other than that she is just as protective as anyone else would be. Coming up empty on several searches for evidence, I would like to know does anyone have any other suggestions on where to look? We don't have the same cell phone plan, so I wouldn't be able to easily check on those logs. I also did confirm that she does not have any dating apps downloaded or incriminating messages, at least that weren't deleted, on her phone.